Okay, this is my Firebelly Newt tank. Um, <clears throat> it's a 20 gallon tank. Um, <clears throat> I didn't buy this tank. My friend uh, Linda, who I do uh, research with over the summer, uh, gave me this tank um, for free because, you know, she has a lot of pets. And she, I guess she just had so many tanks from over the years, you know, she just wanted to get rid of some of the stuff. So, thank you, Linda. <laughs> um, yeah, the Chinese Fire Belly Newts. So, I decided to, to make it cool. I added um, a dragon. And it's got kind of like this uh, this fake plant. It's kind of like those purple flowers you see in the cool karate movies and stuff like that. Um, let's see, I think one of them, yeah, one of them's right there. Yep, this one is the female chilling on top of the dragon's belly. Ooh. And the male, where is the male? Um, <clears throat> there he is. Let's see. He's right on the side right there. I don't know if you can see him that well, but he's chilling on top of the filter. He must have climbed this plant <laughs> that I have. They do that sometimes. They climb the plant in front of the filter and crawl all the way up to the top. That's why I have this screen over top because newts are escape artists, so there's no open spots anywhere on the top of the tank. Um, to keep the water clean, I use um, the Tetrafana Repto filter. Um, it's really cool. It's really ideal for newts. Zoom out. Uh, it's not too, it's not too big, and it doesn't water, move the uh, water too much, so it doesn't stress the newts out. Um, you know, you can hide it inside. Uh, you know, to make it look more natural, you can put covers and stuff on it. And uh, there's already made waterfalls where it fits right inside. You know, to make it look more, more natural. But, you know, I just took the lazy approach and just uh, stuck a plant over top of it. Sticking the plant over top of it actually, uh, when the water, from the spill out, um, at the top of the filter actually hits the plant. So the water actually drips into the uh, tank a little slower. So, you know, the more calm the water, the better. Um... You just don't really need really high water, but the majority of their tanks should be water, and, but there should be adequate spaces for them to um, rest and get air as well. Um, I have a, a log. <coughs> it's not real, but um, they, can, they can go under it, they can go inside it, and they can go on top of it and get air. Got a stone in the back, which matches the other stones I have in the background. Um, that pink, uh, fake plant I have right there kind of matches the background. Uh, the dragon, same color as the stone. It's a pretty nice tank. I'm hoping that after my needs grow a little bit, I'm going to try the process, um, for breeding them, which, in, which involves bringing the temperature down to, to um, slow down the metabolism, which makes them uh, think that it's winter and then bringing the temperature back up over a period of time so they believe it's spring and that gets them in the mood to mate. I'm sure they're too young right now because they're really small. Like I I don't know what age they are from what I got from the pet store but these are these are really young newts. There's, Maybe the male could breed, but there's no way possible that that female could carry any eggs right now. It's too young. But, yeah, that's my tank.